Hello to all of you witches, warlocks, and wanderers. Welcome to Lola K Publishing, the YouTube channel. I am Kibby Rose, and we've got an exciting unboxing for you today, the witch casket, but it's my personal order. So let's get to it. So if you don't know it already, uh, Witch Casket is an online prescription company that you can get monthly prescription boxes from. And when you do purchase the monthly prescription box, you get access to their exclusive shop. And I want to thank Deb and Ella, who are the creators of Witch, Bas uh, Witch Casket, because honestly, I love their stores. I love, I love their store. I love their creation. I love everything about the witch casket website, the just literally everything. And so I want to say a thank you for them. I also want to say a thank you to Cherry Wallace and the Botter Collector for recommending the witch casket, because if it wasn't for you guys, I, I would have never found it. So I'm going to dive into uh, items I purchased. I purchased the February box and got access. So this are the items I got with my access to the Feb uh, February store. I have a whole nother order coming later that is not only the March and February Witch Casket unboxings, but is also the personal order because I, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. I had to make another one. So I had to make another purchase. So forgive me, but that is how we're going to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is because I kind of, I kind of already dived into this box because I got a little, I got a little festive and I got a little excited. So what I'm going to show you aren't in their actual boxes yet, but I promise you the next back the unboxings I do, they will come in their original boxes because here's another thing. I am quite the artist. <sighs> I have several pieces that I have made and I make them from scraps from boxes and um, all recycled materials. So, if you've ever gotten a witch casket box, you already know their boxes are amazing. The artwork on their boxes are amazing. And I couldn't help myself. I dove into them. I cut them up. I've used them for art already, which I will share later. So this, this selection doesn't have the original boxes, but I still have all the original information that came with them. So the first item I'm going to share with you today is actually what I'm, it's, it's my little go-to because I have an entire bookshelf of books, including back here. But if you notice, they're all rather big and quick referencing small information, I have found myself, it, it became very difficult when it came to some of my students, just finding quick reference. I was pulling charts off my wall and I realized that maybe I needed a small book <laughs> to help me with that a little bit. So I have to thank Deb, Deb and Ella again. This one's Deb. She did it herself personally, but it's called The Little Book of Herbal Magic. And it literally just has a bunch of quick reference from protection spells to everyday teas to baths to just it's and like I said, it's one of those quick, easy go to things. And I've already grabbed it once or twice. So Thank you. I love that. So that's one thing. And remember, you can get most of this stuff still if you have access to the Wish Casket store. You can still get some of the these items. So these are past past casket items, from what I understand. So the next item I have is, and this is another thing I love about the way Deb and Ella do this with the Wish Casket. They have the cutest way that they send you things, and this is da, 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 the self-love pendant and basically what so here's the card and here's the description on the back so basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a piece of paper and i'm going to do a quick close-up of this so you can see it because the design the design on these are beautiful and these are hard metal guys these are not this is not cheap plastic so it comes and it comes on the string and everything but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a piece of paper and you're supposed to write your daily, weekly, or monthly affirmation, something that you're supposed to remind yourself of. And you write it down, you roll it up, you stick it inside, and you wear it. And every time that you are tired or frustrated or having a rough time in the day, you grab and rub the pendant and you remind yourself of that affirmation. 
And that is something if, uh, since I am a DBT skills teacher as well, um, and a psychic teacher, uh, self-love is something that we preach, but not always do ourselves. <laughs> so this was a great way for me. And I just got goosebumps as a reminder of, he, he, yeah, he, sometimes you forget to do that. So this is going to be my little way of helping myself to remember to, to love myself and to repeat my affirmations. So the next thing I got is actually one of my favorites. And I always shake a little when I bring this out because I absolutely love the bag because of course, again, witch casket and their, their amazing bags. And this is one of the most beautiful keys I have ever seen. Let me do it this way. Cause that might be a little bit easier, but this is one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. And Here's one of the reasons why, because I already have the tattoo of this. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, and what you're supposed to do with the key is either in meditation practices or during spell working, if you have any blocked paths or doors or any questions that need to be unlocked, you're supposed to hold the key and meditate on that. And that allows, and your angels will basically have a portal to give you information on how to maybe unblock that path. And if it's not meant to be unblocked just yet, maybe how to get around it or what you're supposed to learn from it. Because sometimes our paths are blocked simply because they're lessons that we're supposed to learn that we haven't learned yet. And soon as you learn that lesson, that door is going to open for you. But oftentimes we wonder, why am I blocked? Well, Meditating with the key might give your angels the chance to go, well, you've been being not the quite smartest person on the planet, have you? So another thing, the next thing I got that I absolutely love, and this is something that my heart breaks a little bit because this is something that I'm hoping to be able to get back to Virginia to share because I have two really good friends in Virginia, and this is called the Happiness Brew. And what you're supposed to do is you basically pour this into a cup, teacup, stir it. And while stirring it, you say, as I stir my magic brew, happiness fills my cup. As I drink mindfully, joy will rise me up. And I wanted to do a little ritual with my friends in Virginia. So when I get a, when I plan my trip back to Virginia and we all hang out, we're all, we're, we're going to do a little ritual and make sure that all of our happiness is, is rising up because that's what your friends are for. Is it not? <sighs> so the next thing I got was a gift that came with the box that I got. I probably should have shared this first, but it, it, it was under the other stuff that I was excited about. So forgive me. But the first thing is a pentacle pin. And this is one of those, just one of those easy pins that you can, uh, it's, it, it, it's not the most best quality of pins. They have way better quality pins, which is why I think they give this one out for free, but still, it's a pentacle. I'm, who's going to resist a pentagram pin? Not me. The next thing they give is these little manifestation cards. And I absolutely love them because the power of acceptance will be mine. What I command, what I cannot change will turn out fine. And another one of those things that even though you may teach and preach it, you don't necessarily do it. So I love the fact that they give these little cards and they're the perfect size to fit in your wallet. And that's what I also love about these cards. So you can slide that into your wallet and just keep it there and remind yourself when you need to. And the other little thing that they sent is this little card. And it says, I, I have the courage to keep on going through the hardships. I am growing. And this was actually personally signed by them. And this is what I love about Deb and Ella. Like they, they are communicative. They, they send the emails. They're the ones that respond to you via email. And trust me, I've already had an issue with one of my orders. And I can honestly say the customer service, 100% amazing. They not only responded to my email same day, but they had an answer for me. They had a response and they were actually, they actually caught the fact that I had double paid 
and they reissued a refund. So I was just checking on where a package was and their customer service went so far to even refund me money because evidently I double paid. So that is another amazing. So that's, that's another reason why I sticked with wish casket because, and this happened in less than 12 hours of communication guys, less than 12 hours of communication. So I just shout out to Deb and Ella. Thank you for doing that for me and catching that for me because yeah, you would think that I would notice that I double paid on something. Yeah. So the next thing I got was this amazing wooden altar display. And if you haven't noticed behind me, my altar is getting a little crowded. So I needed something that was going to allow me to give a little bit more platform and be able to raise things up a little bit more. So there's this and it's solid wood, which is what I love. And this is all carved guys. This is not printed on there. This is carved. And then to match that, because I needed one, is an incense and candle holder. And guys, look, is that not the cutest matching design? And again, this is also engraved and it's on both sides. And this is a solid block of wood. And that's what I love about it is you can almost tell that these are like, they must have these handmade or like, these are not quick production type stuff. This is quality. Somebody have like being an artist, I could easily make that make like a hundred of these, but I'd have to sit down and do it. And it would take me a little bit of time, but just by the way it's painted and everything else. I know this, this has to be somewhat handmade in some way. So the next thing we got is the moon water bottle and this is a little bit harder to show because the design on it is clear but this is the moon water bottle and it does open up and you're supposed to you're supposed to store your moon water in here and it doesn't come with this wrap i am i am a wrapping obsessor i i love the twine wrap on everything so of course when i got my moon bottle i had to do the wrapped twine on it just to you know, make it look nice. And since this next full moon is coming up and it's going to be an Aries solar uh, eclipse, lunar eclipse, comet coming into procession and, and a solar mass ejection all happening at once when the full moon is, yeah, that is when I'm going to be filling this with my moon water. Because the, if there's not power in that kind of moon, I don't know where there's going to be power. <laughs> so... Oh, uh, the next thing, I only got a couple more things, just a couple more things. We're not, we're almost done. But the next thing I got is I, when I saw this, I thought of the old 1940s woman spraying herself. Like, I don't know why, but I swear I've even seen an advertisement like that. But this is called the atomizer or atomizer. Forgive me. I was raised on Phoenix. I'm still struggling to pronounce this word, but Evidently, you're supposed to do this for your aura. <clears throat> so I will be doing aura cleansing with this beautiful little bottle, along with feeling like a 1940s beauty at the same time. And I think a Britney Spears video, too. Anyway, it's just fun to play with, honestly. So the next thing I got was just for all of you, most of you, if, if you're a witch out there, you probably already have this in your stock because this is a normal stock item, but black salt uh, for protection and doorsteps purposes. Uh, so I will be using that to, uh, I need to spread it around my house. There's some people that have been around here that don't need to be around here and I will be taking care of that. Uh, the next thing I got is another reason is, is goes along with the whole protection thing. This is a make your own protection candle. And I already used this because today is March 19th. And if any of you have been feeling it, these last two weeks have just been uh, attack central, negative energy from everywhere. So I, for my friend, there my two of my friends came to me and were like, I feel like I'm being attacked. I felt like I was being attacked. My mother felt like she was being attacked. So I already did the protection ritual. I've already burned it for three days, but the cool thing about this is they give you the chipped lavender for protection and the dill 
to be able to create your own. And I added, you can kind of see it, I added in some of my own stuff, including white sage, bittersweet, um, and a little bit of mugwort. And I think I put in, um, I put in a, a gate and tiger's eye as well, crystals. So I, that's what I love about them is they give you the basics for the candle. But if you are like me and you have a full supply of, uh, stuff you can add to it to add to the protection level and that's that's kind of what i did and i can say that i after doing that my friends reported to me that things got a lot better so i can say that thank you deb and ella again because it it worked um the next thing i got because i'm an author and so for those of you that don't know lola k publishing is actually going to be putting out my book that i have been working on since i was I think I started it when I was 17 and I actually really started working on it when I was 22, but it's a book based on dreams that I've had since God knows when, and it's coming out. Hopefully I have the first book of the series. It's going to be a three part series, maybe four, maybe five. <laughs> My editor is, is it, you guys will meet her. She's an amazing person. Um, I love her to death. She is, she is working with me on trying to figure out how we can fit this entire story into, into three books. Um, we'll see what happens. But when I saw this, I had to buy it because it literally says, I don't know if you guys can read it, but it says, find magic in every chapter. And in my book, literally from the start of the first chapter <laughs> to the end of it, there is magic in every single chapter. And it just, it called to me. So I can't wait to be able to put Rosalind Chronicles out, the, the Secrets of the Penitentiary. I think that's the name. We haven't officiated the name yet. Um, and have this as the bookmark when I read the first copy. So I think there's going to be a lot of really cool energy in that. Um, the next thing I have is something that actually means a lot for it to be me and the co-owner of Lola K um, is a moon moth. And the reason it means so much to us is because for some reason, I, I, well, for some reason, I have a tapestry that is of the moon moth. And from the moment she saw it, from the moment she walked in my house and she saw it, there was something about the moon moth just, just called to her. And I remember kind of giggling to myself because if you are a Wiccan, you know that the moon moth is connected to the triple goddess and the energy of a white witch. And so the moon moth to me means a lot because to me, it was the first time that I was like, okay, there's a lot more here than you and I just being simple friends. <laughs> so the moon moth and it also became kind of our background and i love their pins because they are solid enamel pins and even with this small of a pin it comes with the double backing so it's going to stay wherever you put it so but that's why the moon when i saw it i had to buy it because this is our background this is the start of everything and it just for her to have the energy of the triple goddess call out to her, it was just one of those moments that made me smile. And for anybody who doesn't know, I've been a solid, solid practitioner for 30 plus years. I actually started, I started when I was younger and then I had a pause on it. And then about uh, 1920 is when I started doing my own self practitioning and I got my book of shadows done and I worked with a high priestess and it got my year in a day. And then ever since then, I've just kind of been a solid practitioner. So I've been doing it. It's, this is, I, I ain't new to the rodeo, <laughs> let's just say. And uh, for those who don't know, this crystal ball has actually been in my family for quite some time. Um, um, forgive me if I don't know exactly how many generations, but it was actually given to me by my great aunt. And uh, she said, you'll know what to do with it when it's time. And same with this mortar and pestle. This has also been in my family for quite some time. And this will actually be disappearing soon because it is going to my uh, apprentice with some packages for her because that's what you're supposed to do. And the last thing we have is passion and vitality ritual. 
And this is actually just, I bought this because this is the start of, I am, I'm going to be making a collection of their rituals because they have so many rituals prepackaged on their website. And I like, honestly, I want to, I just want to have a full collection of it. So that is everything. That is everything that I bought from the Witch Casket collection. Uh, for some of you that have already get the Witch Casket, I'm sure you've seen the items, but I hope you enjoyed at least the commentary in the video. For the rest of you, uh, welcome to the Witch Casket, and I hope you enjoyed the show. I will be recording more after this. I've got at least the February casket, the March casket, and another personal casket coming. I have a couple other unboxing videos that are coming that are, don't have anything to do with Witch Casket, but it's still witchy enchanting stuff um if you like the video go ahead and press the like and subscribe button below it does help us out a lot more than you realize and i hope you guys have a wonderful fantastic and magical day bye